Hey guys, I'm Saurav and in this video I will show you how to edit the images in Lightroom in just 5 minutes and get from this image to this. Now this is a very short and quick tutorial. If you are new into editing in Lightroom, you should watch the in-depth video which is there in my channel. The link will be down in the description below. Before I start editing, let me tell you that I'm going to soon do a Q&A video where I answer all your queries and doubts regarding photography and editing. So if you have any of them, you can post them down in the comments below with the hashtag ask sort of. So let's start editing. So the very first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to slightly increase my exposure to about 0.5 and I'm going to decrease my highlights so I get much more details in the clouds. And I'm going to slightly increase my shadows just about plus 5 because the shadows are already properly exposed. Then I'm going to do my whites and black points. So I'm going to hold alt and I'm going to drag the white towards the positive side till I see something in blue or white. So I'm just going to stop before that so I know now I have a good contrast but I have not lost any particular detail. Then I'm going to reduce my blacks till I see certain blacks in my image. So up to minus 10 will be a good black point. So now I have the details in highlights and shadows and also I have not lost any contrast. I am going to slightly boost up the clarity to about plus 10 so I get a bit punch in the image and I'm going to increase my vibrance to about plus 25 so I get natural colors. Now I am not going to adjust saturation but vibrance is something that gives me good and natural colors. So about plus 25 is great. Now I have not played with the contrast here because I'm going to adjust my contrast with the tone curve because it gives much more flexibility. So I'm going to increase my whites, I'm going to decrease my darks and make this image look much more dramatic and with better contrast. So if I toggle this on and off you can see I get much more contrast just with like playing about 10 to 15 seconds with the tone curve. So tone curve is an excellent tool for adjusting contrast. Then in the HSL panel, I'm going to adjust my luminance. So I'm going to select the color picker tool. I'm going to select the sky and just drag it down a bit at about minus 35 so that I get much more details in the brighter part that is actually blue. Then I think uh, when I was there, the blue was actually much more richer. So I'm going to adjust the hues. I'm going to select the sky and again using the color picker, I'm going to slightly adjust my blues and make them look much richer so about plus 15 is looking great the next thing i'm going to do is adjust the details now in the details panel we are going to sharpen the image so i click here and then i just uh, reposition the marker so that i can get a good view of what i'm sharpening so then as i short this at iso 100 i can straight away pull this sharpening to about plus 90 and then uh, you can pull the luminance up to plus 10. now i don't want the whole image to get sharpened so i'm going to hold alt and I'm going to drag the masking bar to the right side and the parts basically which you see in the blacks are not going to get sharpened but the parts which you see in white color are going to get sharpened. So I don't want the sky to get sharpened but at the same time I want the foreground to get sharpened. So this about 22 is great and then I'm going to do my lens corrections. So I'm going to enable my profile corrections and remove chromatic aberration. Now here uh, enabling these options is not doing anything because Lightroom is not able to detect my lens. So I'm going to select my lens. Most of the time it does but some of the times it doesn't. So with just one click you can fix all the lens correction that is distortion or chromatic aberration or basically any color fringing. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to slightly introduce vignetting. For that I'm going to pull it to minus 100 and then I'm going to adjust my feather and adjust my midpoint so that I get a better idea and then I would apply about minus 10 of vignetting. Now once I'm done with the vignetting, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to use a gradual filter. With the gradual filter, I'm going to slightly pull it down and now basically the part you see in the red is getting selected. So if I increase the clarity, what you will see is only the clouds or only the top part which is selected by the graduated filter is getting affected. So I'm going to slightly reduce the highlights and slightly increase the clarity and slightly just bump up the contrast. So just with one gradual filter, I am able to bring that dramatic sky back. So I'm going to use radial filter now. So basically I'm going to use the radial filter here. Basically I want certain parts to be brighter than the other parts so, can, so I can introduce some local contrast and basically that makes the image much more dramatic. So I'm going to increase my exposure a bit. Now I want this part to be affected so I'm going to invert my mask and I'm going to feather it at about 100. Then I'm just going to make it smaller, I don't want it to be so large and I'm going to duplicate it again 
and I'm going to apply it here as well. I'm going to duplicate it again and apply it here as well. So with radial filters, I can introduce certain local contrast and now the image is looking much more better. For final touching, I'm going to introduce again a new gradual filter, which is slightly going to decrease the exposure of the top and bottom part of the image. So your eye is basically focusing towards the center of the image. So this is basically it. But if you're short of time and you want the images to be delivered very quickly to the clients or friends, you can basically use this quick workflow to transform your images. So this is the before and this is the after. So with just five minutes of post-processing in Lightroom, we could transform the image into a very dramatic one. This was again a very quick tutorial. And again, if I am editing it for myself, I would spend um, like more half hour fine tuning it. But again, if you're short of time, this method works great. So I hope you enjoyed the video and I hope you learned Lightroom. If you have any questions, again, a small reminder, ask them in the comments below with the hashtag AskSorov. I will talk to you guys in the next one. Bye.